I'm moving on to item number 13. So, Ms. Miller. Mr. Chairman, I understand that a video is going to be played. Um, That's what I was told yesterday okay. by I'm the attorney's business. office that they wanted to play the video from the meeting. Okay. Well, that's a great picture. <laughs> Handsome gentleman, I, I would agree with that, sir. I have a board of supervisors sitting in regular session, consent calendar. I do not have any cards to speak on a consent calendar item only. Is there anyone here who would like to address the board uh, on a consent calendar item? Hearing none, what's the will of the board Mr. on the Chairman. consent calendar? Mr. Chairman. Mr. I'll move uh, consent. Uh, as um, as written. Second. Ms. Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Miller. Um, I'd like to uh, pull consent calendar item one and vote on that one separately. Second. That is the, okay. Um, does the maker and a second to withdraw their motion? I, I, yes, I'll withdraw. I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. A second the motion to separate item one. <laughs> All right, so is there a motion on item number one on the consent calendar? Um, Mr. Chairman, I had a lot of questions about this item. Um, this contract actually commenced in February and is just now coming before the board. And um, that was one question I had for the, uh, I guess, the county administrator. And then I would like to know what was the process for selecting this individual? What are the qualification? Was there a competitive bidding process? This is it a forty thousand dollar contract um, for consulting and uh, working on community service type issues? And it is my understanding this individual lives in Phoenix, and we have a lot of organizations working in Pima County. A lot of individuals in Pima County working on this type of work, from what I've seen on the various organizations. So I, I have researched this and I was wondering if there's any any information on first of all why is this coming before us when it was this contract commenced in February Ms. Uh, yes mr. chairman I believe uh, mr. Atha can answer the questions regarding this contract mr. Atha mr. chairman supervisor Miller uh, the uh, fact that the contract is so late is is simply a problem with delay in in my office and and in uh, negotiating the contract with the uh, with the contractor uh, and and I have I have no good explanation for that it, it's 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 just a a problem that I created by not getting to this earlier as far as the uh, uh, this contract, it is a uh, direct select procurement approved by the county administrator. It was not uh, bid competitively. Well, I take that back. Uh, the origi originally there was a, uh, yes, there was a bid about four years ago uh, for this, but this particular contract is a uh, direct select contract. And it is um, uh, the individual has particular expertise in some of the areas that uh, that my departments work with. Uh, he is a former director of uh, workforce training for the Department of Economic Security with a great deal of expertise in the uh, state policies and, and federal policies regarding uh, uh, Department of Economic Security programs. Uh, he's been very uh, useful to us in a number of ways. Most recently, uh, been very useful in dealing with some uh, proposed, helping us with some pro proposed changes by the Department of Economic Security in the uh, administration, of overall state administration of the workforce system. So we don't have an individual here in Pima County that could do this type of work? Not with the particular uh, unique expertise that this individual has, no. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman? Yeah, item five was. Item five was amended? Yes. 
I don't see it on here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it was a. Uh, uh, it was just Mr. Chairman, Supervisor. Elias. Well, I'm not going to piddle about that because uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move uh, consent agenda as amended. Second. Motion and a second to approve uh, consent as amended. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please uh, signify by saying nay. Ayes have it. Moving on to item number eight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions or comments on the, on the video? Um, Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to point out that I was not, I did pull that item for separate vote as we've practiced all year and per the rules, uh, the way that we've done it all year. Uh, if we act in such a way that is not objected to, that is the rule. And I'd also like to point out that um, the meetings have been revised by the clerk of the board to reflect the other items I had on there. And, but I would like to go on the record that I feel we did not vote on this contract, it was pulled as a separate item. Richard interrupted me before I could make the motion. And so the motion was never made to vote on this contract and I'd like to go on the record. I would like to move to approve these meeting minutes as the clerk has amended them with the following amendment regarding the Gabe Loyola contract, which was item one on the consent. I would like to go on the record voting no on this contract. Is there a second to that motion? If not the motion, that there's a second to that motion. Yeah, I, I think it's good to a second for the sake of uh, discussion. Now, the, the, uh, we have uh, just seen the video, and I have the transcribed version of it here. Um, I had apologized last, uh, last time we considered this to you, Supervisor Mott, for the confusion, and clearly I've, I've added to it. However, uh, in my defense, uh, in, throughout this year, when you've pulled uh, something off the consent calendar, I have taken it, you've asked questions, and usually if you don't do something afterwards, and we can, we can show video of that, not today, but certainly in the clerk's office, you usually, usually make the motion at that point, which is why if you, if you, uh, if you look at the, what happens, uh, I asked for the seconder to withdraw the motion, and I actually asked, all right, so is there a motion on item number one on the consent calendar? Yes, you did, and I would like to just point out on the 917 meeting, which is up on my website at two hours, four minutes, I asked you, I have a few comments to make. Do I need to wait for someone to make a motion in a second? And you said no. And I said, okay, because this has changed too. All year long, the rules keep going back and forth. Every meeting, it's a different rule, and this is why I was interrupted before I could make my motion, which was the whole point of wanting to put this back on for a, for a vote. And I don't know why we have uh, fought this so hard. Why is everyone fighting putting this up for a vote? Ms. Miller, with respect, we disagree on the version. And I think we saw the video, and, and that is not a correct interpretation. Okay. Everyone can go to my website and look at the video where the rules are different every week. Okay. So, uh, what's the will of the board? We have a motion on the floor. Uh, no, oh yeah, we do. I, I apologize. You're you're correct. Uh, motion before us is on the uh, approval of the minutes as amended by the clerk and further amended in the manner that Supervisor uh, Miller has uh, stated uh, with uh, her voting on the item. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry to interrupt, but but just for clarity's sake, I, I'm I'm perfectly willing to to revote on the item regarding this contract if that will clarify matters for Supervisor Miller so she doesn't feel like uh, the ball got moved on her. But, but rules are, are made to be fluid and uh, I think I, I waited a reasonable amount of time before making it an additional motion at that particular meeting to approve consent in its entirety. But, but short of that, I'm perfectly fine on revoting uh, re voting on that item if, if uh, there's a sense from one of our members that it was not handled correctly, then I think the integrity of the Bard is uh, far more important than anything, and uh, we should re-vote on the item if that's, if that's the will of this board. I'm perfectly fine to go along with that. I just wanted to say that because I think that's an important distinction. Um, rather than saying we're just playing around with the minutes and, and accusing each other of not following the proper protocol in this room, it, it, it would make sense to me that um, 
we assure everybody that the pima county board of supervisors does their business above board is that in the form of, of a friendly amendment substitute motion or is just comment that's just a comment at this point if, if if there's support amongst board members to do that i'm just saying i'm perfectly fine to support that but i don't want to confuse the issue further given that we have uh, uh, a motion on the floor that we're about ready to vote on. I will withdraw my motion and the I second there will agree to withdraw. I want to see the film again before I do. Go ahead and roll the film. Thank you. I have a board of supervisors sitting in regular session, consent calendar. I do not have any cards to speak on a consent calendar item only. Is there anyone here who would like to address the board on a consent calendar item? Hearing none, what's the will of the board Mr. on the Chairman. consent calendar? Mr. Chairman. I'll move uh, consent uh, as, um, as written. Second. Ms. Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Miller. Um, I'd like to uh, pull consent calendar item one and vote on that one separately. Second. That is good. Okay. Um, does the maker in a second or withdraw their motion? I, I, yes, I'll withdraw. I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. A second the motion to separate item one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is there a motion on item number one on the consent calendar? Um, Mr. Chairman, I had a lot of questions about this item. Um, this contract actually commenced in February and is just now coming before the board. And um, that was one question I had for the, uh, I guess, the county administrator. And then I would like to know what was the process for selecting this individual? What are the qualifications? Was there a competitive bidding process? This is a $40,000 contract um, for consulting and uh, working on community service type issues. And it is my understanding this individual lives in Phoenix and we have a lot of organizations working in Pima County, a lot of individuals in Pima County working on this type of work from what I've seen on the various organizations. So I, I have researched this and I was wondering if there's any, any information on, first of all, why is this coming before us when it was this contract commenced in February? Ms. Ogilvie? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I believe uh, Mr. Atha can answer the questions regarding this contract. Mr. Atha? Mr. Chairman, Supervisor Miller, uh, the uh, fact that the contract is so late is, is simply a problem with delay in, in my office and, and in uh, negotiating the contract with the, uh, with the contractor. Uh, and and I have I have no good explanation for that. It, it's 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 just a a problem that I created by not getting to this earlier. As far as the uh, uh, this contract, it is a uh, direct select procurement approved by the county administrator. It was not uh, bid competitively. Well, I take that back. Uh, the origi the originally there was a uh, yes there was a bid about four years ago uh, for this but this particular contract is a uh, direct select contract and it is um, uh, the individual has particular expertise in some of the areas that uh, that my departments work with uh, he is a former director of uh, workforce training for the Department of Economic Security with a great deal of expertise in the uh, state policies and, and federal policies regarding uh, uh, Department of Economic Security programs. Uh, he's been very uh, useful to us in a number of ways. Most recently, uh, been very useful in dealing with some uh, proposed, helping us with some pro proposed changes by the Department of Economic Security in the uh, administration of overall state administration of the workforce system. So we don't have an individual here in Pima County that could do this type of work? Not with the particular uh, unique expertise that this individual has, no. Okay, thank you. 
Mr. Chairman? Yeah, item five was. Item five was amended? Yes. I don't see it on here. Yeah. It was a. Mr. Chairman, Supervisor Lewis. Well, I'm not going to piddle about that because uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move uh, consent agenda as amended. Second. Motion and a second to approve uh, consent as amended. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please uh, signify by saying nay. Ayes have it. Moving on to item number eight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Carroll, did you see what you needed to say? Thank you so much for the courtesy of a relook at that. Um, Mr. Chairman, first I want to say Mr. Atha has done a fabulous job over the years. I trust his judgment. Uh, I've been working with Mr. Atha for now at least the 17 plus years. Uh, I know that there's a sometimes housekeeping that's necessary, but Mr. Atha, thank you for the explanation on the contract. I believe I saw what I needed to see. Thank you. You withdraw. Are you, is I'll, I'll go ahead and withdraw my okay. second to Ms. Miller's motion just to be very clear. Mr. So Miller. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move that we vote on the item, the contract item. We actually can't legally do that because it's not on the agenda. We can have it placed on the uh, future agenda. Okay. And um, I need council to rule on uh, the issue of contracts because at some point we're also going to have to waive the rules and we're dealing with an executed contract. That's which correct. Is a, a, uh, a level on top of that council. I guess that gets back to my point that this individual was working since February and it wasn't brought before the board until August 19th to vote on. So how was he operating prior to August 19th? Well, let, me, let me have uh, council, the issue right now is the minutes and the, the voting on the record. Let me have council address the issue that I posed to. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board, uh, you are correct. Anything is to come back as far as a ratification or whatever vote with respect to the contract that will have to be separately uh, put on a separate agenda going forward. How that goes forward is, is questionable. What's before the board today is simply do the minutes accurately reflect what occurred uh, on August the 19th. Uh, that is a determination made by this board you've had the benefit of a video, you can make that determination or not. That's what's precisely before the board at this time. With respect to the effect of the, um, uh, uh, of, uh, the uh, fact that the board did, or at least a, a reasonable person could conclude, uh, I'm not making any assessment one way or the other, that's for this board to make, mm -hmm. But a reasonable person could assume that a majority of this board supported and voted on that particular contract on August the 19th. That being executed, any attempt to unexecute it or to do something different with respect to that or change the vote with respect to that is going to create a dispute as to whether or not there is, in fact, an anticipatory breach of that contract uh, at this point. Mm -hmm. So there is a consequence with respect to that. Uh, <coughs> the other aspect, of course, is procedurally how does one do this uh, with respect to waiver of the uh, board's rules. Uh, we had originally had assisted the Supervisor Miller in trying to, and the clerk trying to get this on for September the um, 10th meeting uh, as a reconsideration and a waiver of the board's rules, which would have been a mechanism by which this could have been accomplished with respect uh, to that. The other aspect of this is, is that if what you're trying to do with, if, with a future vote is simply to clarify the, bo vote, the board's previous vote on the matter or to ratify its actions since Supervisor Miller has raised a question whether there has been any vote at all with respect to this item. Uh, that that might be appropriate at that particular time to do it as a ratification or a clarification or both and put it on for the next board agenda if that's what the choice of the board is. Uh, Council, um, that was n not terribly clear. <laughs> not at all. Uh, let, let, me, let me follow this up. 
uh, what we can do today has to deal with the approval of minutes. That is correct. We that is can, what is before the board. We today. can move, uh, per I believe Supervisor Miller's request, to uh, place that item uh, in a, on a future agenda for the purposes of reconsideration. However, at that time, when we before we uh, for waiving of the rules and then reconsideration, because uh, our own rules would need to be uh, waived in order to do this. So I've, I've, I've got that part about it. The issue then becomes the issue of an executed contract. Yes. How do we place on the board's agenda an executed contract? We've done that before by oh. way of ratification of the contract. So what you're talking about is placing it on for ratification, not for really for reconsideration. That is correct. That's correct. Okay. That seems to work. Supervisor Miller? So is the appropriate form here, I want to get this correct, is that I move to re place this Gabe Loyola contract item one that was on the consent agenda on the next, uh, pre next meeting agenda for ratification of the contract. Is that the correct form? Council? Mr. Chairman, uh, Supervisor Miller, yes, it's as close as I think we can come. And uh, along with that, the, the, is that going to uh, is ratification going to require a waiving of the rules? I don't think so, under the circumstances, because there was already. I mean, it depends on what this vote board does with respect to the minutes. I mean, if in fact there was a vote on the min, I mean, if the if there was a vote on the matter already. Um, yeah, this this is okay. new territory. Mr. Chairman, I'll go ahead and second okay, Supervisor that's what Miller's gonna, uh, motion so we can continue. But I had I had two requests. One is that Supervisor Miller be more clear about what item we are going to ratify. Uh, please give some citation of the minute of I the did. A meeting or something so we know specifically what we're voting on. And secondarily, I would ask that this item be agendized on a meeting when all five members of the Board of Supervisors are going to be here so that we don't have the further confusion of having a tie vote. Uh, I think it's important that we move this item to October 15th. Agreed. But that's up to the maker of the motion, I believe. So I'll accept that as a that. friendly amendment. If you'll wait just a moment, I'll get you the item number so we can cite it explicitly from you. It was item one on the consent agenda, okay, the Gabe Loyola contract. From August 19th. From, yes, from okay. the August 19th meeting. Okay, uh, and um, that still leaves the question once we, assuming we uh, pass this motion about what we're doing with these minutes. Or would, uh, would you? Do you want to deal with that now, Supervisor Miller? You can. We can do do we want to m finish this motion and, and vote on it and then move to the balance of the minutes or do we want to combine it? All right, let's, let, let, let's go ahead and, and, and do that then. Unless council has an objection. I have no objection. Okay. All right, the motion before us is on placing the item number one uh, on the October, no, follow on. it's following meeting, October 15th uh, Board of Supervisors meeting uh, for the purposes of ratification. Uh, all those, is that correct, Supervisor Miller? That's correct. Um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. Eyes have it. Now the, the underlying question now is what do we do on the approval of the minutes? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the balance of the meeting minutes with exception to this Gabe Loyola contract as, as the clerk has amended them since the last meeting. Council, can we do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, motion, uh, is there a second? I'll second for the sake of discussion, but I'm not sure that takes care of the problem of the minutes of the meeting of August 19th. I mean, if you want to change those minutes, then that's fine, but we're not taking care of the problem because her motion was to approve the remainder of the minutes and not approve the section regarding the contract uh, that was item number one on consent agenda. And we just asked the county attorney if that was appropriate to yeah, do that. Yeah, I may have misspoke, Ms. Miller. I, I really apologize. Council. Mr. Chairman, what is, what is the question before me right now at, at this point? Is it, the question, what is the motion? I, I, I didn't the, quite get it. The answer. motion before us at this point is on the approval of minutes minus the, uh, the portion dealing with item one on the consent calendar of that meeting. 
you can partially approve the minutes and you can choose to continue the other part if you wish will you accept a friendly amendment to continue the uh, item number one then um, yes that's what I thought we had done with the first vote was that we were continuing item number one and then I made the separate motion we did it separately so as not to confuse things that we approve the balance of the minutes as the clerk has amended them since the last meeting Supervisor Elias. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to remove my second from the motion then because this motion does not deal with the problem that we've created surrounding the minutes. I would say to you that uh, likely we should approve the minutes and approve what happened uh, on that consent agenda item given that we're going to ratify it on October 15th. Uh, it, it'll essentially make that vote moot and uh, Ms. Miller will be able to voice her objection at that point to it and, and I think that's perfectly appropriate and, and, and I'm fine with that. But I, I can't continue on in this discussion if we're not taking care of the problem that was agendized for today's meeting. Okay. Does it make sense to you? Is me? there, uh, the seconder has withdrawn his second. Is there a seconder to the original motion? Mr. Chairman. Sir uh, Carroll. Mr. Chairman. I believe staff work needs to be done here. I, I, I contend that uh, this just all needs to be delayed until October 15th so Supervisor Miller can uh, collect uh, the motion that she'd like and her satisfaction and we move on. Because again, this is a, uh, an item about uh, the minutes, I thought, not about the contract. And secondly, I'm always willing to give anyone the benefit to reconsider. But at this point, I think it's just getting deeper sure. And, and, sure. and darker. All right, let me uh, Sharon ask. Sharon Bronson will be back, I'm sure, in the 15th. They can all readdress this and get on with uh, a clear vote. So uh, is there a no, uh, I, I don't hear a second. Is that correct? Okay, that's for lack of a second. Cheryl, I a motion to continue this item to concurrently with the ratification of item number one. I'll, make, I'll move that. Second. All those in favor, please signify by, uh, and let me restate the motion. This please is state. a continuance of item number 13 right. to uh, the meeting uh, of October uh, 15th. 15th to be considered concurrent with the ratification of item number one on consent calendar of said minutes. That's fine. Mr. Chairman, that cleans it up, and I think that would be the best way to handle this at that, at, at that meeting. Thank you. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, please signify by saying nay. Eyes have it. Moving 